Hi, thanks for stopping by. I'm Bobby Jo. If you want to learn more about me, check out my previous videos. So my first week post-op has been pretty rough, but I'm hanging in there. I've been lounging around, taking it easy. My mom has been having a hard time getting me to take my pain meds. I just don't like the taste of those pain pills. So no matter what she wraps it in, I just spit it out. That was until dad made it for me. He makes a really special slice of bread with some butter on it. I can handle buttered pain pills, so now mom lets dad give me my medicines. Mom decided we should make more dog treats since we ate all the pumpkin peanut butter ones. These are my get well soon dog treats and I will share them with my siblings even though I don't really want to. She found a recipe on 2healthykitchens.com that is called 4 ingredient chicken and biscuits. They are like drop biscuits and super quick and easy to make. Mom will put a link to the recipe in the video description. Here's what you need. 2 cups of chopped chicken. You can use leftovers, but mom just used canned chicken. With Thanksgiving around the corner, you can take some of the leftover turkey and make turkey and biscuits. 2 cups of flour. The recipe calls for whole wheat, but mom only had white flour, so that's what she used. 5.3 ounces of plain Greek yogurt and 3 fourths of a cup of water and 1 egg slightly beaten. You want to start off by preheating the oven to 350 degrees. Then you combine all the ingredients into the mixing bowl. Make sure it is mixed really good. The batter is supposed to be thick and sticky. We won't be rolling these out and cutting it with a bis biscuit cutter like we did the previous ones. The recipe says to drop batter by level tablespoons on a parchment lined baking sheet, but mom just put it straight on a non-stick cookie sheet. You bake it for 12 to 14 minutes until lightly golden brown. You cool completely on wire racks and you store it in the fridge. You can also put it in freezer bags and store it in the freezer, but I really don't think these are going to last long enough to go into the freezer. Be good. Does it smell good? Does it smell like a good treat? Yeah. Okay. We're going to try it in just a little bit. We got to cook it first. I know you think it's going to be good raw, but we're going to cook it. What? What are you talking about? You got a lot to say this morning. You must be feeling better. You like being in the kitchen cooking, don't you? I know. We're gonna put these in the oven here in just a second. We gotta smash them down a little bit. Some of them might need a little bit extra. I know. You smell, you smell, you smell that chicken, don't you? That chicken got you excited this morning? Hmm? That chicken got your mind off your leg? Some of these are bigger than the others, but we can give the bigger ones to you since you're recovering. Don't tell your brothers and sisters, though. Looks like you almost finished the food in here. That's good. Bobby Joe, you get the first one. Nolan, we're gonna give Carla the one next. Here you go, Carla. Miss Diana and Mr. Nolan. Ready? A little warm still. All right, I'm gonna have one with y'all. They're like little biscuits. Oh, y'all gonna speak for me? Leave her, Nolan. Leave her. Speak, Papa. Come around here. Speak. Here you go, Pops. Here you go, Carla. 
All right, I'll have one with you too. Bobby, you want another one? Here you go, Knowles. Here you go, Diana. Those are pretty good, huh? Yeah, they're good. They're pretty good. Carly, you like them too? Nolan's looking for leftovers. That's all we're getting for right now. Okay? That's it. Well, there you have it. Chicken and biscuits. You can't go wrong with chicken. Hope y'all stop back by for our next cooking session. It's going to be human food next time. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great weekend.